Hello friends, welcome to MSFT Webcast. In one of my past videos, I show you how to install and configure Active Directory in Windows Server 2012 R2. In this video, I will show you the steps on how to demo domain controller and remove Active Directory role on Windows Server 2012 R2. Like change in installation procedure of Active Directory, demotion also will not depend on TC Probo. The demotion of domain controller in the Windows Server 2012 R2 domain contains two main operations. The first one is removing the configuration of Active Directory from domain controller. And the second one is removal of Active Directory domain services. To demote a domain controller, we can use Home Manager or Power Shell. I will demote a domain controller on Windows Server 2012 R2 by using GUI. Assuming that you have a single domain controller for your domain. In my case, I have a one domain controller named SRT-DC01 for my domain my laptop local. Let's open Active Directory Users and Computers Console. And as you can see, I have a only one domain controller that is SRT-DC01. So we have a forest with a single domain and single domain controller. Let's close this Active Directory Users and Computers Console. Already I logged in as an administrator account on this domain controller. So we have a sufficient privilege to demote the server from domain controller. Now on saw manager dashboard, let's click on manage and select remove roles and features. On before you begin page, click on next. Select our local server that is a SRTFNG01 and then click on next. Now try to clear checkbox from active directory domain services. Click on remove features. After waiting for a few seconds, you will receive a validation error. The validation error appears because active directory domain service server or binaries cannot be removed while the server is running as a domain controller. So first we have to demote this domain controller. So let's click on demote this domain controller. And that will open Active Directory Domain Service Configuration Wizard. On credential page, you have to specify the credential to remove Active Directory Domain Service. But already we log in as a domain administrator, we do not have to specify the credential. A previous attempt to remove Active Directory Domain Service on this domain controller have failed, then you can select Force the Removal of this Domain Controller checkbox. Because there is a one domain controller in my environment, I need to check last domain controller in the domain. If there is a more than one domain controller in your environment, you do not need to check these options. Let's click on next. On a warning page, review the information about the role hosted by the domain controller. Right now, this server is a DNS server as well as configured as a global catalog server. Let's select proceed with removal and then click on next. On removal options page, select this DNS zone. This is the last DNS server that hosts the zones. And also select remove application partitions. Click on view partition. Here you can see we have a two application partition. First one is a domain DNS zone and the second one is forest DNS zone. Let's click on OK. And then click on next. Now you have to specify the new administrator password. Ok, once you specify the password, you can click on next. Now you can review your selection, like we are going to remove Active Directory Domain Service from this computer. You have indicated that this Active Directory Domain Controller is the last domain controller in the domain MyLectroLocal. And when the process is complete, this domain will no longer exist. Let's click on Demote. The server will restart automatically to complete the domain controller demotion process. Once your server restart, use controller to delete to sign into this server. Now here you can see we have an administrator and this is the administrator account of this local computer. This is not a two main administrator. A specify the password which we set earlier during the demotion process. So once you sign into our Windows Server 2012 R2 computer, let's click on manage, select remove roles and features. Click on next on before you begin page. Select our local server as rtfnt one and then click on next. Now on remove server role page, clear the checkbox from activity domain services. Let's click on remove features as well. 
and this time you will not get any kind of error message. We also want to remove DNS server role as well. So let's uh, select DNS server role and clear the checkbox. Click on remove features as well. Click on next. Click on next. Click on remove to start the removal process. And that's it. Now you have to restart your server to complete the removal process of activity domain services and DNS server role. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.